So this is the second video in the AMIs topic. So again, we are uh, looking at chapter 5.10, okay? So in your textbooks, guys, so if you just, um, you, I'm sure you know this by now anyway. So it's textbook 5.10, okay? And today we're just gonna look at the preparation of AMIs, although we've done a little bit of this previously anyway. So this runs on page 224 of the textbook and you'll see your exercises on that uh, 510b and 510e which should be in this should be in this powerpoint anyway but i'll just put them there for you just in case okay so we've already uh, even if you probably <coughs> don't remember right away back when we did carboxylic acids when we did carboxylic acids we looked at the acid base reaction between carboxylic acids and ammo uh, ammonia and you should know by now that you get the ammonium salt okay the ammonium salt of the carboxylic acid in that context now to turn that into the amide very simply you carry out uh, some heating of that you get a dehydration and you get the amide so this is the functional group which you should recognize by now of an amide so there's method for uh, producing your uh, amide. So there's a couple of questions on that, all right? So if you'd like to pause the video perhaps and uh, have a go at those, check those uh, in your uh, your answers. So pause the video now. Okay, reactions then of amines with the acetyl chloride. Now again, this is another reaction that we did whenever we were looking at the acylation of amines in the previous topic where we used this reaction to make the white solid of the M substituted amide and we recrystallized, purified, found the melting point of that and that allows us to go back and use that melting point of that derivative to work out the structure, sorry, to work out the, uh, the name of the, or the structure of the original amine. Anyway, so it's popped up again, but this time we're looking at it sort of more in the context of making amides uh, and making specifically M substituted amides. So if we look at an acide chloride, here we have ethanol chloride. Here we have a, 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 a primary amine where X is going to be our, of course, our alkyl group. Okay, and if you look at our structure, <coughs> we'll see that we've here made here a primary AMI. <coughs> okay, so what you will need to be able to do is know the structure of your amine, of course, know what X is, realize that that the X will go there, and to be able to name the compound that is made in this reaction. Or alternatively, they may give you the structure of the N substituted amide and ask you to go back and work out the structure of the, uh, um, uh, the acyl chloride that you had there. Okay, so again, if you want to pause the video and have a go at a couple of the questions there. Okay, I'm going to move on now. All right, so you will find, actually, I should have said uh, a few questions similar to this here in your uh, class notes as well. Okay, so reactions of amides, you need to know about acid and alkaline hydrolysis of these. So amides will go undergo acid hydrolysis and they will produce the original carboxylic acid and the ammonium salt. When you have the base hydrolysis, they will produce the salt of the carboxylic acid, okay, and the ammonia or the amine. Now that depends on what type of amide you had to begin with. If it was a primary, like so, sorry. If it was primary, like so, you will produce the carboxylic acid and ammonia. If, however, it is not primary, so let's say it's secondary, we have an R group here, okay, and we carry out base hydrolysis, we will get the salt, or I should have said here, the salt of the carboxylic acid. We will get again the salt of the carboxylic acid. I'm assuming sodium hydroxide is used. Plus, in this case, we will get um, the R group, okay, our primary amine, okay? 
So there you go, there's a couple of examples just using a very simple primary amide, all right, where we get the carboxylic acid, down here we get the salt, and we get ammonia as our byproduct. Okay, just to sort of um, clarify that up, if we got, let's say I had that, and that. So we now have here our tertiary amide. If we were to carry out a uh, Alkaline hydrolysis of this, sorry. In this context, we would have CH3, COO minus Na, plus we would also have NH with R and R1. So if I have a tertiary amide, it will go back to a secondary amine. Likewise, if I just show it up here, and it sort of showed this in the, in the last one anyway. If I have a Primary amide. Um, let's put R there and hydrogen there. And I carry out alkaline hydrolysis of that. I will get the salt and carboxylic acid, of course. And I will get R and H2. So here I have a secondary amide and it goes to a primary amine. Okay, so just be careful of that whenever you are writing equations uh, for the products of acid and alkaline hydrolysis. It's not a problem, okay? Um, if I was doing this with uh, this one here with um, alkaline hyd acid hydrolysis, sorry, okay, instead of getting that, I will get RNH3 plus. Okay, so I will still get a primary ammonium uh, Okay. Likewise, down here, if it was with acid hydrolysis, I would get the carboxylic acid, so it would be COH uh, plus R, NH2 plus, and then my R1 there. Okay. So again, I'm getting the salt of the, uh, the secondary amine here. Up here, I'm getting the salt of the primary amine. So just be careful, uh, it depends very much on what, you're, uh, what you start off with here. Okay, so there's a couple of questions you could, uh, I'm sorry, that's not a couple of questions, that's actually giving you the answer as well, sorry. Okay. So again, you can, remember, you can probably just have a go at that guys, and just check that you do get the right answer that is of course down here is worthwhile doing. Okay, so there's some uh, tasks for you to do. So if you pause the video, I'm gonna move on. Likewise again, if you have a go at those, pause the video and I'll move on. Okay, so a few of these here, um, you, might, you can have a go at as well. Okay, I'll just write the answers to what you should get. So we've got, uh, Okay, so those are the answers to those uh, problems. So just make sure that your uh, your answers correlate to my answers there. Sorry, it's a bit messy, but it'll be a bit tight for space. So the first one, propanoic acid and ammonium chloride, sodium propanoate and ammonia. The rest of them I've just written the formulas there. You don't have to put the positives and negatives in there, guys, but generally I, I would, okay? Um, so hopefully you can read those okay. Uh, and your answers are the same. This one, this column here is for acid hydrolysis. This is for alkaline hydrolysis. Acid hydrolysis, I assume we use sodium hydroxide and alkaline hydrolysis. You'll see you've got the chloride salts the whole way down there. So I assume we use hydrochloric acid as an answer. So I'm going to move on here. Let me pause the video and check your answers against my answers there. Okay, so the next step then is to convert our amides into uh, nitriles, okay, and this is a dehydration reaction. You can see here, and what we use this time is phosphorus pentoxide. So phosphorus pentoxide has a formula of P4O10. Now we don't put phosphorus pentoxide into the equation because there's a whole load of other stuff that is produced um, in this equation. 
which we don't need to concern ourselves with. It's too complicated. I'm not sure anybody really knows what it is anyway. Okay, so we put P4 O10 on the arrow if you want. It's simply a dehydration reaction. So if we sort of look at it in a bit more detail, you'll probably be able to see why it's a dehydration reaction anyway. It goes to R, C, N, we get a nitride. So you can see, hopefully, uh, fairly clearly, we have removed the oxygen and uh, hydrogen. We have produced water, okay, and therefore it is indeed a dehydration. We've removed the elements of water from a compound and formed water. Okay, so again, if they give you a particular nitrile, you would probably have to work out, sorry, a particular EMI, you'd have to work out the nitrile that you would form and write the equation. And likewise, if they give you the nitrile, you're probably going to be asked to backtrack and work out the formula of the original amine, MI choice. So there are some questions again in your notes, guys, which you might want to have a have a go at. Okay, so there's a few questions on this as well then uh, that you can have a go at. This is from exercises in the honor, but it's 5.10F there on page 226. You can have a go at that. Likewise, another one, same exercise. Okay, we're going to look now at the basicity. I think this is the last thing in here. Uh, so we looked at the basicity of amines and we worked out that uh, primary amines were more, sorry, tertiary amines were the most basic. And we worked out that aromatic amines or RL amines were the least basic. So let's have a look at how this uh, corresponds then to the basicity of amides. So you might think amides, everyone thinks, well, amides, have, of course, they've got a nitrogen with a lone pair on it. So they should be able to attract a hydrogen, form a data bond, and therefore they should be basic. Well, in actual fact, they're not basic. Okay. Um, and the reason for it, you don't need to know too much about the reason for it, but uh, I'll try and explain it pretty simply. Okay, um, the lone pair, which is the green cloud here, the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen actually gets delocalized into that double bonding system between the carbon and the oxygen. So instead of having this lone pair sitting here on the nitrogen, hopefully making a data bond with the hydrogen ion and acting as a base, they actually get donated into and pulled into this region by this highly uh, electronegative oxygen atom and that means that that lone pair is no longer available for bonding to the hydrogen ion and that removes any possible basic nature that an amide might have so these things are non-basic okay so again there's 5.10b you can have a go at those questions pause the video and i'm going to move on okay so there's a few uses of your amides Right, so um, you might want to have a couple of couple of those at your disposal. Okay, a few more there that you probably will see in sort of everyday life. Those of you who are looking to go into pharmacy and medicine, you'll you'll meet amides frequently. This is a, a sleeping tablet here, which is contains amide functional groups in it. So you can see them there. Okay, this is a secondol, which is the assisted suicide drug. Again. An amide uh, drug, okay, relaxant. Okay, right, okay, that's good. That is the end of the amides topic. Hopefully those help. Please make sure and go through the notes, the class notes, and the textbook. And make sure you do the questions, and most importantly, answer, the, or check the answers to the questions. And I will also send you over the past paper question book.